Welcome to Demolition Ranch, where we're going to be testing Can Maestro stop a 50 cal? Guess not. What's up, guys? It's Roy. Be sure to like the video and let me know down below what you think of the changes. Buckle up. And hey, subscribe while you're at it because it's free and I'll love you for it. So funny enough, they uh, they nerfed my sledge last season and now this season they're, they're nerfing Valk. So I'll be right back. One sec. One sec, guys. Oh, it's time to boot up a new Rainbow Six Siege operation. Operation I Caliber. I swear if it's another trap, I'm a mobile device that sticks to surfaces and propels a set of sharp blades shortly after detecting nearby opponents. No! So today, uh, with the new Rainbow Six Siege update, uh, they've brought another trap bar operator to the game to make it even harder to push sight. Pretty Poggies, honestly could not be more excited about having to check for another gadget that will hurt me and or kill me should I stay in its radius for too dang long. Why does everything have to be a trap? That's all I wanna know. Why do I need to be hurt time and time again? Just trying to go through a door, right? just vaulting through a window. Why do I have to fear for my freaking life every time I step foot through a doorway? Is that what was Siege was meant to be? Siege, be terrified of doorways because you can be Malucid, lesioned, ella concussed, cap can trap, frost smatted, whatever this new thing is, smoke gassed out, and forgetting anything, and then nitro on top of it. Boom, done. Career over. Back to the desktop. Now, the good thing is, is that it's pretty useless, right? Yeah, you gotta be in there for like two to three seconds. Uh, you're gonna see the prompt of which you can just basically aim labs, flick over to it, and just end its existence before it kills you. Frankly, we played two full games. They went like six rounds each. Not a single trap went off the entire time. We thought it was pretty sad. At one point, I was genuinely concerned that we weren't on the TTS because I was like, what has changed with this current build? It felt like nothing. So here's the deal. The new, the new defender looks like she's straight out of shrek i mean i booted up the game went to the minion i was like who is in my swamp type of vibes she looks way better in the player car which is nice doesn't look bad then you boot up the game and she's got a 50 cal submachine gun i didn't know that was possible i didn't even know that that was practical ubisoft has created a brand new gun in order to not have issues with like the the rights of 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 putting a, another gun in the game. I don't really know why that's an issue. I don't know who's being selfish and and, and not, not letting us use like the MTAR or a bazooka. You know, just other guns that, you know, it would be nice to see in Siege. But anyway, to avoid any of those issues, Ubisoft just created their own gun. Kind of a flex. But yeah, the practicality is kind of crazy because it's a, it's a 50 cal submachine gun. I, I can I can just imagine that that would do numbers on the on the shoulder and or just blow your arms past you if you were to hold it out in front and lock out. Either way, I wouldn't advise that, but uh, she seems to manage it really well and it's almost like a laser. It can be compared to maybe Finca's spear or like Pulse's ump. So a pretty decent gun and, and uh, has destructibility, can, you know, make holes in walls a lot better because it's a 50 cal. I, I guess that's where they got the high caliberness from. It seems a little weird to name an entire operation off of uh, a gun, but then then again, they're probably super proud that they created the gun in the first place. It looks like a mini Uzi. I don't know how I've gone this entire time without talking about the HUD. Oh my gosh, the HUD changed yet again. The compass is massive, which I think is a good thing for new players to just like understand, hey, by the way, there was a compass because uh, apparently a lot of players struggled to know that there even was a compass in the game. You know, before you'd have, yo homie, bad guy, northeast side of the map. They'd be like, the frick is northeast. Now they're like, yo, northeast. Let me just bring out half my screen dedicated to knowing which side of the map the bad guy is. It's insane. It's, it's massive. It's absolutely massive. You can't miss it. There will be no more problems with callouts. That is for sure. And if you do miss a callout, you're just stuck. As a year one veteran, I, you know, obviously I, I've grown accustomed to looking at my compass and now it is like four times the size and it feels like it takes up a hefty part of my screen. Everything is technically more clear, I suppose. It's just, it, it it's changes that I just didn't, didn't expect. We have new HUD stuff. I think it'll take some getting used to, and I know it's probably a, a positive change overall, but my gosh, it seems like the HUD stuff, the animations, the display of things just changes season by season. I don't know what to think about this season. You know, typically you want, you know, the nerfs, the buffs, all those minor tweaks that you can kind of make videos on, 
but unfortunately there's really not that much we got finca's boost she can now uh, revive herself and she can revive all of her teammates at the same time so that's pretty pog so i mean i guess you can finca rush now with and you just hope that you don't get finished off should you be downed but now with another trap operator in the game being able to pick yourself up with the finca stem especially on attack seems very improbable because she's not all that tanky so i don't know we'll see we'll see and we did try to make a lot of uh, finca rushes happen didn't really go all that well in terms of picking myself up once i got down if i got down i was just dead but you know she has that function will we see finca be picked a lot more because of this probably not it's kind of a meme thing which is good you know we need meme type operators in the game honestly i was so starved for content in terms of like changes and stuff i i looked at glass and i was like holy smokes they gave him the gone six only to find out that the gone six has always been in his arsenal i had no idea I, I i thought oh shoot we now have a new rushing operator turns out we had all, always had that and i was just now using this strategy and it was pretty dang effective like i actually had a really good time i'll probably bring that to live build and you know mess around and go crazy now i know this is going to piss a lot of you off but the uh map rework is outback outback was the last new map that we ever got and that was years ago and now they have decided to rework it because they obviously made a mistake putting it in the game uh i wasn't a huge fan of outback and so now the fact that they're reworking it kind of kind of just brings up old bad vibes i really was hoping for a new map like i i'm ready to battle it out in like a hospital i think of like batman dark knight when the joker is is like blowing up that hospital like i want that type of carnage in a hospital i think that would be sick great map paintball make a, a speedball paintball type course right like a lot more close quarters a lot of bangable walls just for those random headshots shot wall bangs I, I think that would be kind of sick but again i'm not a developer what do i know all i'm saying is i'm not crazy that it's another rework when we would love a new map one thing i actually did enjoy was uh you can change the colors of both your team and the enemy team you now have blue red and orange to choose from and you can mix and match you can be the red team facing the orange team you can be the orange team facing the blue team you can literally mix and match and confuse your viewers as to what they're actually witnessing because we've been so used to the blue team versus the orange team that now you can completely reverse that you can be on the dark side honestly like your your anakin turned darth vader and and you're, you're just repping the dark side which i thought was pretty sick i'm a big fan is it a big enough change to be excited about this season no it's not that's okay i mean at the end of the day my 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 hope for Siege is still there. I freaking still love the game. I just wish that some of these updates were a little bit more impactful and it got me more excited. You know, it, it only took a couple hours playing the TTS for me to be like, okay, well, that's cool. We, we tried this. Now what? And you kind of are stuck there thinking, well, that was that, was that it? We got three months of three months of work to, to give us, you know, a couple changes. I don't know, man. It just doesn't feel like enough. And I really want Siege to survive. But my gosh, it's, it's getting grim out there. They do have a stream snipe counter coming in the works unfortunately they told us that it's not rolling out with the new season which it was kind of like huzzah and then hey we're gonna give you a, a stream snipe uh counter and we're like Whoa! and then they said but it's not coming immediately and we're like oh come on like everything that we hope for or ask for it's like yo it's coming and we're like yes and then we're like when and they say year eight and you're like i'll be dead by or at least not playing siege and so you know that's a little tough you know it's hard being patient with this game especially when you see it actively dying in your arms you're like at the hospital and they're like it's not gonna live much longer and you're like but you guys have all the medicine all the resources and everything to keep keep it alive just just pump it full and they're like sorry we got your money here in our hands you've already paid up we're good we're just gonna take your money and go that's what it kind of feels like um and again, I, I love, I love my people at, at Ubisoft. I love my Siege people, but I just want more. When it comes to playtesting other games and their seasons, I feel like, whoa, they put in a lot of work. This is a great new update. It gets me excited to play the next season of whatever. And then Siege, you know, Siege does the same thing. And I'm like, is that it? You know, we, we had the COVID excuse for a while as far as, oh, well, maybe they don't have enough staff like actively there to work on these projects. Maybe... Maybe there's still stuff, right? It's been, it's been a while, all right? I feel like then by now we're past the COVID excuse and we got to start pumping out good content. Does Ubisoft care about this game? It just doesn't feel like there's there's a whole lot of juice going on, you know? It, it feels like we're at uh, a five-star restaurant and the chef is just, is using stock chicken and noodles with some salt and pepper. Like there's not much going on, you know? He, he's not spicing it up. He's not making it his own. He's not, he's not adding to it. It's just... 
is the bare basic bare minimum like here there you go you can, you can have some of that you know rainbow six is so unique in its gameplay and everything but for a player who has played it for five six years now you get used to the repetition and you want something to be different you know it's like i want things to be unique enough for long enough for me to experiment with and and come up with a fresh opinion but it seems like with these types of changes that have currently been implemented, especially for Operation High Caliber, I already have my opinion on it. And I already know it's like, it's not all that great. Frankly, I'm just surprised that we got another trap operator. If the goal of Rainbow Six is to have 100 operators, we're literally going to have mock-ups of the same operator probably five or six times. There's just not a whole lot of originality. And I don't believe adding another trap operator is like the greatest addition to a game where you already have to check your feet. You already have to check for explosions and concussions like delete ella man i am so tired of going through a doorway being concussed and just wanting to alt f4 because i know that both the sound cue and the concussion effect imply that i am a helpless little fawn ready for the slaughter i mean it's crazy i don't know if i've ever won a gunfight after being concussed like i'd love to see the statistics on how drastic your survivability rating goes down once you've been concussed by an ella stun delete ella we got to get rid of her there's a lot of other trap operators that are making it just difficult for the attacking team to have 100 hp once they reach site and but then again it's like i don't have any new ideas i, I it's not like i have an alternative for what they should create frankly i believe we don't need new operators we have our core operators we have their core abilities now Let's just make new maps, new game modes, new events, right? We want to have fun with the same types of operators so that we can expect the same type of siege played out on different scales, different events, different maps. And then that's when we can get creative on, okay, let's take the fundamentals of siege and move it into this new environment. But it's almost like Ubisoft continues to try and change what siege was meant to be and that's a little bit tough it's a it's a tough pill to swallow because especially for the players that like grew up on it from year one we know what siege was and we don't like where it's going and it, it just seems like all these additions are just kind of like no we're going the wrong way you're going the wrong way what you're going the wrong way you know so we're going down the highway at 100 miles an hour in the wrong direction and then we're just like, yo, yo, stop, stop. You're going to, it'll crash. You know, and eventually we will crash. Uh, they are coming up with operator cards, which is pretty dang sick. I'm actually a big fan of being able to customize your profile. I hope they go crazy with that and really allow us to like dig deep into the customization of, of that. We only have like three options here for right now for, for backgrounds. And then obviously I think, I think you're stuck with either the default pose or the elite pose, but should they also add that to should your profile card be able to be customized by what you're actively wearing i think that'd be pretty sick the hud when you die though uh, it takes up so much of your screen like, like oh cool like i'm glad i'm watching this player did i need to know that in ultra hd 4k taking up half my screen that that's who that is no I did not. Valkyrie is getting a nerf, which I am personally just victimized. I feel personally hurt. How do you get more beautiful every season? Now for Valk, when you throw out a cam, it loses its signal after a few seconds, which is good, I know, for the community, but my gosh. Everyone I love just gets nerfed. A huge plus for Siege is that they are doing animated weapon skins. Coming to the Battle Pass kind of has that Valorant feel where, where the creativity to the gun is actually insane now. And we've been going in the right direction for a very long time, which has been, it's been good looks. It's, it's been real good looks. And now we have weapon skins that are going to start moving. I want to know what you guys think of that. I want to know what you guys think of a weapon skin that has some moving functions. It is, is that Siege or is that kind of strand? away from og siege type vibes i want to know what you guys think i personally like it i'm excited for it i think they can get really really creative with it all in all really good really good really good looks Gotta go. Peace.